In this video I'm going to show you how to shape the short row heel for your sock. This is a completed sock as you can see and I've knitted up and when I get to this point in the pattern I'm going to start shaping the heel. Short row shaping means you keep all the stitches on the needles but you're only working you're working fewer and fewer stitches each row so that by the time you get to this point you've worked lots of rows on these middle stitches but these edge stitches have different numbers of rows. Once we've got to the shortest point we then have to come back the other way gradually getting longer again. So in this first video I'm going to show you how to start working the short row shaping getting shorter. I'll just put this out of the way and pick up my sample. So this is the little mini sock I started knitting in the previous demos. This is my beginning and end of round marker and with the pattern I'm using the heel of the sock is worked on your second needle, your number two needle. So I've knitted across the first needle and I'm now ready to start working the short rows. There are many ways of working short rows. I'm going to use the German short row technique. So I'm going to knit across my needle two. So everything I'm doing now is just working back and forth across needle two. I'm no longer working in the round, I am working this section flat. I'm going to work across to the last stitch on needle two. So I've got one stitch still left on my left needle. I'm going to leave that stitch there and I'm going to turn my knitting around. And then with the yarn on the side nearest me, in other words in front, I'm going to slip that first stitch from, let me move this out of the way, I'm going to slip this stitch from the left needle to the right needle purl wise, and then pull the yarn over the top of the right needle and bring the yarn round so I can now purl across this row. Now if I just stop briefly, if you look at this stitch here, it's got two legs. And this is what's called the German double stitch. So I'm going to work back across the needle. This time I'm purling because I've got the wrong side facing me. And again I'm going to work to the last stitch at the other end. So I've got one stitch left on my left needle. Turn the knitting around. I now have to bring the yarn forward in order to make my double stitch. So in order to make the double stitch the yarn needs to be at the front the side nearest you, slip the stitch purlwise, pull the yarn over the top of the right needle ready to work the next stitch. And in this case it's a knit stitch so I just pull it over and then I carry on knitting. And there are the two legs of my double stitch. I'm now going to knit across to the double stitch I made on the previous row. And it should become fairly clear where the double stitch is. So as I'm coming towards the end of my row, so I've got, that was the very first stitch which we didn't work. This is my double stitch here. And you can see two loops. 
and then one more stitch. So I'm going to knit that stitch. So I've knitted up to the double stitch. I now turn with the yarn at the front, slip the stitch purl wise and pull the yarn over the needle to make your double stitch and then bring it round so I can purl back to the other end. Again I'm going to purl up to the double stitch. So I'm getting towards the other end and here I've got, that was the first stitch which wasn't worked, that's my double stitch and I've got two more stitches to work. Two. So this is the double stitch here. So I'm now going to turn the knitting again with the yarn at the front slip the stitch purl wise and pull the yarn over the top of the right needle and then work back across the row. So we're going to keep on working back and forth across to the double stitch, turn, make a new double stitch, work across to the next the other double stitch at the other end. And we're going to keep working back and forth like this until we have only six stitches working in the centre here. So I'm just going to turn again just to demonstrate once more on the purl side. Slip the stitch, pull the yarn over the top, bring the yarn round to carry on purling. So in this little mini sample I'm going to stop when I've got six stitches still working between my double stitches. I've got one more to knit here. So when you're counting your stitches to see how many you have still working you must make your double stitch just move that out of the way. You must make your double stitch at the beginning of this row as well and now I can count how many stitches I've got that are all being knitted. So at the moment I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches before I get to the double stitch here. So I've got to still work another couple of rows. If you're making the full size sock you need to refer to your pattern to know how many stitches you have at the top here which will probably be 12 or 14. And then I'll show you in the next demonstration how to gradually get longer again. See you soon.